everyone welcome back to the shop this is uh, this video is day two of the new project bike another LT uh, for those of you who missed the intro it should be on the channel it's gonna be one of the most recent videos after this one not after this one before this one anyway uh, bike doesn't have a name yet you guys some of you have come up with some pretty interesting names uh, such as like the uh, the bee blaster <laughs> no <laughs> it's not gonna be the bee blaster it could be the bee blaster if you buy the bike but it's not gonna be the bee blaster not on this one um, yeah the, the gray whale things like that you know one that you know in the video that I just made though I said that I wanted to you know sell this bike wanted to flip it and then it occurred to me last night when I woke up in the middle of the night thinking about this bike. How about just flipper? You know, still keeps with the theme of the ocean theme. I don't think any bike is going to be as iconic as the shark bike. So, yeah, the guy that bought the uh, shark bike, you know, you got a you got an iconic bike. But this one could be flipper. Flipper is a good name. That it's still gray. It's still. Uh, you know, with the with the old springs on there, it still porpoises down the road. So, hey, I think the flipper might be a good one. Anyway, so I'm going to start calling it flipper. I think. Anyway, so what I'm going to do today, though, is I'm going to start going through this bike. I got to get the covers off to see what's going on, what kind of updates are necessary underneath these covers. We already know some of the updates that are necessary. One thing I'll be doing is I'll be changing all the fluids on the bike and uh, you know evaluating oil condition to see you know what kind of shape the the trans is in by looking at the the magnet as well as the final drive uh, I'll change out the fork oil I did notice one thing yesterday that I did not bring up on the video was the left side fork seal has a small leak in it so I think I'll probably be replacing the fork seals on it and just making it as good as I can for the next guy. I still haven't decided what on earth I'm going to do with that top case because that thing is a mess. I'm really tempted to just ditch that thing or just leave it on there and you know give the next owner an option uh, for the uh, a rack that I have at one of my one of my travel racks. Um, anyway. I'm going to get going. I'm going to take these covers off and I will pick up the video right after I get the covers off and we'll go through it there. So one of the items of curious note was what was that insulation that was behind this panel and I can see this is there's insulation or something here or some kind of uh, material so I thought I'd just throw it take it off on video and you guys can see it with me. Seems to be missing screws, even a way for the screws to hold on. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it's it's just some felt on here, and it looks like it was put on because the the holes are still here, but they're broken out on the the side case. So the tabs where the screws would go in are busted out. So I think what I might do in this case when I put this back on is I might drill a hole in the remaining plastic here and put a clip on it and then at least it's able to then screw down in two points. Yeah, now I see why they put the felt there. I will make a little cutout on the felt so you can uh, eyeball the, the brakes in the back, but okay. Now that the covers continue. are off of the bike, I can get a little bit better idea of some of the things that are going on here. Another good bonus, you guys can see it in the video right here. You guys got some quick disconnects on there. Not your usual ones, uh, but these look like they are really nice. Looks like he's also replaced the fuel lines, and the fuel line here, 
you can make it out in the video you can see it's almost kinked I don't like that so I'm gonna fix that by I think that if I shorten this this hose up a little bit I think it's because it's might be pushing in too much uh, I'm gonna try I'll try a couple different things I could probably put a, a clamp or a spring or something on there and get it to you know straighten out a little bit more but I think that just by shortening it up a little bit it's gonna it's probably gonna help take some of that kink out the other one is just starting to kink but it's not not terrible uh, that's what that's what happens when you use the non preformed hoses or the you know if your hoses go bad on your LT uh, you can you, you wind up with issues with fuel lines sometimes this isn't kinked out it hasn't you know it didn't complain of it stalling or anything in the little ride that I took it really didn't have any problems at all so that, that, I think that's going to be just fine that's kind of an easy adjustment uh, let's see we'll start around here at the front now I can now that I can actually see what's going on here I didn't check this one well that one's fine so this this side is fine I am gonna I am gonna flush the old fork oil out of there put new fork oil in it you can see there's a lot of a lot of bugs man this thing's a mess I didn't know they still made bugs just kidding it's summer here and it is definitely bugville coming over to this side looks like a grasshopper over here there we go um, yeah so so this I did order up the parts already for this they're like these little rubber things are like three bucks a piece or something from BMW you really can't get them anywhere else and I, I was able to come down and start to investigate what is happening with this oil leak that's happening down here you can probably make that out just fine anyway so looking at this th there's a real clean spot right here on this bolt which is the lowest part that really just means that the the gasket the valve cover gaskets leaking and that's what's causing this big mess I am gonna roll this outside and clean it up after I'm, I'm done making this portion of the video uh, you can also see there's there's some wet on this and that's coming because it's coming down this fork tube if I reach up in there you can definitely see it's got uh, some fork oil now if you guys develop leaks on your forks it's not the greatest you know the biggest crisis in the world these things don't have any pressure in them uh, I, I've talked about that in some of my other videos it's really just the fork tube itself along with this part and you know these two parts just kind of go in and out and there there's no spring inside here to be honest you could probably just put some kind of a, a lube or grease or something on the fork and it would work just fine it's that lubricant that's in there the fork oil it's really just in there to help lubricate it and uh, probably help with heat you know as this thing's moving up and down it's obviously going to be generating heat uh, especially when you drive here in Illinois coming over down this way you just get the high view I'm not I'm not gonna move the tripod I took the you know the the kick whatever I took the footrest off and you can see this thing definitely needs to be uh, uh, tightened up it's this is really really loose here uh, almost to the point that I was afraid that that was actually gonna fall off I this is why it's important it looks like this guy that the guy that owned it did take care of this it actually has still has some good uh, rubbers on here those little rubber cushions those are still in good shape and it looks like it's been lubricated you know in the last year or two uh, but this is super loose and that's what happens if you don't maintenance this every year every other year if you ride a lot you really should be maintenancing this every year um, 
Okay, coming back some further. So, this is really low for one, the, the reservoir. And you can see the color of this is not, not blue. It's not even green. It's, I don't know if it's a brown color or if it's a, a, the orange, like, like um, what is it, the GM Dexos, or I, I don't even know, what, what, whatever the GM uses, orange color. That's, that's not the right stuff. I'm going to flush this out anyway. Like I said, I'm going to be flushing out all the fluids in the bike and starting over. Uh, oh, one, one that I'm not going to flush out because I talked to the previous owner. He, he said that the transmission lube only has about 5,000 miles on it. So I'm going to leave that one alone. But I'll be doing the brakes and the clutch and uh, valves and, you know, so on. I don't think there was anything too noticeable in the back. No, there's nothing down here. Uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned it before, but the, the rear brakes, I didn't take this caliper off yet. But I think the rear brakes need to be changed. They're they're looking pretty thin, and the cowbell that everybody hears, it's not really existent on this one. For some reason, this one's kind of locked up. So I like that. Now I can leave that that rotor right on there, and that's fine. I haven't run a battery test on this yet. I really just got the covers off, and I took the seat off in prep to pull the gas tank off, and. I think that's exactly what I'm going to be doing now. Oh, I guess uh, while we're talking about still condition of various things, I will show you some of the, the panels. So the panels on this side of the bike were in kind of beat up condition. They're, I mentioned that one already that's got the, the felt on it. Uh, this, one, this one's been repainted. But it's really in good shape. There's nothing wrong with this panel. It still has all of the holes. There, there's no chip outs. There's no breakouts. That one's fine. The main side panel, though, even on this side, the, the knee pad is coming apart. And it has at the bottom here, it's missing that that tab so this looks like it's had a breakout right here so that that's kind of messed up uh okay that that, that one's all right. the rest of that one's okay the lower panel i think this could be our issue right here we got that looks like a a tip over maybe a slide that's not your normal slide when you you know or you're you're scraping when you roll the bike over hard on the side you know when you're driving it like it's meant to be that usually occurs right here you usually get a good a good scuff here sometimes you'll get a scuff right here as you can see there's just a little scuff but this one this one definitely looks like a tip over maybe a slide i'm not sure maybe it was a low speed slide uh there's a, a tab here that's broken off there's also a tab here that's broken off. One of them is still on the bike, right, right under here. And there's really no way to fix that without just replacing this panel. And that's not something I'm going to be doing. You can, th these panels hold on pretty good. They're kind of made to fit together like a puzzle. And once you get the puzzle put together, it doesn't need all of the screws to put, you know, to hold everything together. But, um, so anyways, it, it's gonna hold up just fine. But just, just so the, the next potential owner of this bike knows, those things are already missing. And I did, I did mention that it does have the original springs. And I am not going to change those. They, these are, they're still working. So the next guy that, that owns it, if you, or, you know, whoever buys it, if you want me to put springs on it, just know I'm going to, I'll charge you for those. And, uh. And you know we can go with that. You may you may have another set of springs, or or you want to look yourself, or even do the labor yourself. However you want to do that, it's totally cool with me. But just know that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna swap those out on this bike. So 
Uh, the other the other panels on the other side look great. Uh, there's no issues with those at all. I want to get my dog caught under there. Do a quick check of the air filter. I'm hoping it doesn't actually have the K&N filter in it. I am not a fan of those. But some of you guys like them. Nope, it does not. It's just got a sticker, no, uh, no actual filter. Take a look at that. So, that actually looks almost original. Yeah, that's pretty dirty. I'll put a new one in. It's quite the difference. Okay, now with that changed, I'm going to roll it outside and give it a good wash down. Just needs a needs a bath. It looks it just needs a bath. <laughs> Can of engine degreaser from Walmart. I got this thing all cleaned up um, it's probably gonna be about it for today it's already late in the day here I I'll just give it a I'll show you a little once over here what I did you know cleaning it up I, you guys saw me clean it but it it really came out so much better obviously I still have a mess to go through here got a lot of random wires going on which I'll figure out these look like they're for the heated seats. This is for the rear heated seat. That's for the front heated seat. Uh, there's some 
just some wires over here there's there's a over on this side over here is a relay I think that's for the lights up front but I don't know what all these other ones are going to there's a, there's a lot of wires here so I want to find that stuff so that way it doesn't become an issue for the next person so tomorrow when I tackle this thing I'll take care of all the fluids on it uh, at least start going through that stuff I did get tires ordered up for it I decided to go with uh, a, a little mismatch of tires but it will work they work really really well they're actually two of my all-time favorite tires one is the the rear is the Shinko uh, 777 and the front I actually was able to source a Dunlop Road Smart 2 now that I've used the Dunlop 2 and the 3 I love the the two in fact I ordered two of them because I um, I really I, I want to put one back on my personal motorcycle because I, I really like that tire so much it really reminds me a lot of the Avon Storm 2 back way back in the day so I'm gonna put that tire on there and I think that's gonna be a really good set of tires for the next owner of this bike and uh, yeah I'm just gonna you know plow through the plow through the fluids tomorrow if I get a chance to I'll I'll do the valves I'll check the valves uh, as well as I may you know start knocking out some of this electrical so guys thanks so much for watching and hey thanks for so much for all of your suggestions on this thing's name uh, right now it seems to be like B bike is it the the B bike is um, is one of them I still really like flipper Maybe it'll be the uh, the Flipper B. That would be a kind of a cool name for this bike. Uh, there's also a Maverick I've seen, and you know, there, there's just a whole bunch of other names. But come up with something before the uh, before the series is over. Right now, I'm still leaning towards the Flipper, but Flipper B sounds pretty cool too. Could be a could be a really fun kind of name. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. Also, uh, you know, check check some of the links below if you want to help out with anything. Uh, also, definitely take a look at my Amazon page. I've been adding, adding things to my Amazon page quite often, especially for this bike, but also for other bikes too. And stay tuned. There's more coming. See you on the next one.